hey guys so welcome back so this video today we I'll, I'll just try this I got I got a tester of the Guerlain's uh, Santal Royale when I bought uh, Tom Ford's Bourgeois so I'm just going to this is like a first impression video and uh, so Santal Royal says for this creation uh, Guerlain perfumer theory was a true inspiration from the treasures of the East okay and reworked one of the rarest and most precious ingredients in the world of perfumery sandalwood shrouded the mystery this bewitching note is exalted in a new woody oriental fragrance playing on the subtle contrast between the dark notes of leather and wood wood and the luminous floral notes of jasmine and rose leather jasmine wood and rose i'm not a big fan of wood and rose combo but i'm a big fan of leather and jasmine combo I figured it out myself uh, when I tested uh, ombre leather. I really like ombre leather. So, but I'm not sure if this is going to be anything like that. But I'm just uh, saying because this has jasmine and leather as well. On top of that, we also have wood and rose. So this is what uh, Fragrantica says: it's uh, rose, it's wood, it's woody, warm, spicy leather, powdery, cinnamon, amber. It's a lot of uh, notes. Le Absolu Dioria Santal Royal was launched in 2014. Oh, this is not that old. Jasmine and Neroli, Rose, Cinnamon, and Peach. Mm, peach. Akarwood, Sandalwood, Leather, Amber, and Musk. Okay. Actually, I've been wanting to buy this fragrance for a long time for the build up uh, that. Uh, I believe many perfumers, I think Demi Rowling and Jemmy Fragrance, they both like uh, rated this fragrance as one of the best fragrance, one of the best, uh, I think, wood fragrance or sandalwood fragrance, I guess. I don't remember exactly. Uh, and then the longevity is like eternal war. Wow, that's nice. Something that I would be interested in. Okay. So, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go ahead and test this thing. No smelling anything. Mm, okay, I smell rose immediately. Rose is very <coughs> sorry about that. Rose is rose is a very what do you say? Rose is Rose is a very like overpowering kind of a thing. It it kind of like overrides uh, other notes. It has that power, I guess. But uh, rose, I associate rose with like femininity, so I'm not a big fan of rose in in male fragrances. But I'm not sure if it's a male. It's, I I think it's a unisex fragrance, maybe for women and men. Yeah, maybe it's a unisex fragrance. So immediately I get a really sweet rose. That's what I'm getting as of now. And there is there is wood in the background, like wood is there definitely. It's a very nice mix of rose and wood. I think like they are both 50 50 is what I'm getting like rose 50 and ooh 50 maybe maybe or maybe a little bit like 60 40 or, or as well like not, not may not be 50 50 I, I get a little bit more of that rose 60 percent of rose and then 40 percent of the wood and the wood is very subtle here it's not like that in your face kind of wood right where it's not that potent wood that that immediately because from what I like based on my understanding in the past uh, perfumes wood makes its presence uh, known like nothing else in a fragrance and I'm surprised here rose is kind of overpowering wood like which I didn't expect actually I thought like wood would be wood is like you can like wood is 
wood makes itself prominent when, when, when it's added as a note in the fragrance. That's what I'm trying to say. But here, I think the, the rose kind of like, you know, pushes the wood down a little bit and then tries to come up. Not sure if I'm getting sandalwood. Oh, wait a minute. Not sure if it's not getting any leather. No neroli for sure. No jasmine. Which is surprising because jasmine and neroli are listed as the top notes. Funny how your nose works. I mean, my nose works. Okay, let me wait for a few more minutes. As of now, I'm, I'm just getting these two notes. Rose and Oud. With Rose being the prominent note. I was expecting leather and uh, maybe, maybe it's a bass note. Maybe it, after a like in the dry room maybe it develops what is this one ah ombre normal oh okay one of my friends told me about this fragrance i think it's like i don't know 500 600 dollar fragrance in australia australian dollars one of my former colleagues has this uh, fragrance and he he thinks it's the best fragrance you don't i don't uh, i don't get to see or try Mm, Louis Vuitton uh, fragrances anywhere, I'm not sure why. Preview Rose the Arabi, okay. So I can, I can, I can kind of understand uh, what this would eventually smell like in the dry down based on the, based on the, reminds me of section here. So let's go to the comments with let it dry down okay the opening is quite harsh and screechy with the apple wood and amber Ooh. after all, a nice rose and sandalwood combination emerges <laughs> it's completely opposite for me sweetness from opening and synthetic wood completely ruins what is actually a decent sandalwood note i guess in the meantime there's still some sara edp as the main sandalwood from carolina <laughs> it's given by candied Lemon rose, or maybe that's the peach. I was detecting okay, rose wood combo. That is exactly what I'm getting. This, I agree with T. This is what I'm getting. Slowly, bitter leather peaks in. Now, the rose has faded away. I'm not getting much of rose now. I'm getting oud now. I'm getting oud definitely. There is some sweetness uh, associated with it. I'm not sure what that is. What else do we have in this? Amber. Is this amber? Yeah, I can see why they are saying this is a synthetic wood because yeah, real wood kind of it, it it it's very in your face, and that is why I I said uh, I was surprised to because a real wood, I mean natural wood, like it it shows itself. Uh, like as 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 a very prominent note you cannot uh, overpower that kind of wood with anything else like it's i i think personally based on what i've smelled so far it is not possible to simply out uh, out uh, put out uh, like or suppress or you know 
uh, natural wood with anything else uh, which which is in a way evident that this this wood is probably synthetic but then there's some sweetness associated with it I'm not sure what that is this is the sweetness from the rose right Because funny, I'm not smelling rose now, but there is still this sweetness from the rose lingering uh, um, around the, the oud uh, knot, I guess. Or maybe it's something else, maybe it's peach or a... Because I know how peaches smell, and I, I don't really think peaches smell like anything I'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> no nah, that, that is rose that is rose but it's not as uh, uh, in your face as as it was in the beginning it has like uh, it has gone a bit subtle now hmm I don't know man, I, as of now it's been like, I don't know, how long, 5-10 minutes now? And this is all I smell, just the oud and uh, rose combo. And I'm not smelling anything else. Maybe I'll have to wait for the dry down and then check, uh, see how it develops like these guys have mentioned. Mm, it's just close. It's not a typical girl answer. The smell would make more sense in an aluminium Montalbot. <laughs> but I, I, I think this is still. This is not a, this, it's not a unisex fragrance. I think it's is a, so far based on what I'm smelling, I think it is a feminine f fragrance. Anyway, I'll, I'll maybe post another video after trying it uh, for a few, for a couple of days maybe. Uh, thanks a lot guys for watching. Bye bye.